guys, so today I'm gonna to be making an Asian chicken salad. It's got a little bit of Trader Joe's orange chicken in it, and then I make a homemade lime vinaigrette to go on top. It's so delicious, great for summertime. My whole family loves it, and even if your kids don't like salad, you can always just feed them the orange chicken for dinner, and then you're not having to make multiple meals. So anyways, follow along with me, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so first things first, we gotta get our oven preheated to 400. So this is the chicken that I buy from Trader Joe's. It's mandarin orange chicken. It's found in their frozen section. I think it's delicious. My kids love it. And basically, um, I just put it out on a lined cookie sheet. They come with these little sauce packets. So obviously do not put these in the oven. Set those to the side. And depending on how big your family is, you might need an extra uh, bag of orange chicken, but I think this will be perfect for mine. There's sometimes there's a few pieces stuck together that you have to break apart if you can. But that's probably good like that. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you or you don't ever go to Trader Joe's, you can also get some orange chicken like this. I've seen it at Walmart. Oh, there's a straggler in there. Um, they have it at Kroger, they have it at H-E-B, so just find uh, the orange chicken that your grocery store offers in the frozen aisle and it should work for this perfectly fine. So um, my oven is preheating to 400. Once it's ready, I'm going to cook this for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it says 18 to 20 minutes. So just follow the heating instructions on the back of the bag of whatever you buy. If you buy the Trader Joe's one, like I recommend, you're gonna love it. And I usually do 20 minutes on 400. While that's happening, I get out just a regular bowl full of warm water and I set these two sauce packets in it and that softens these because these are frozen solid right now. And then after it's over, um, we will put the chicken into that bowl and toss them in the sauce before we put it on the salad. All right, so we've got our chicken in the oven. It's preheated to 400. It's gonna cook for 20 minutes. I have got my sauce warming up in a bowl full of warm water. And now we'll get started on making our salad. Okay, so while we've got our chicken cooking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and make the base for the salad. So we're gonna start out with some roughly chopped romaine lettuce. I actually just got this out of a bag that I bought at uh, Trader Joe's earlier today. So our ingredients for our salad, we are going to put some of those edamame beans um, that we did in our buffalo chicken salad. You can just steam them in the microwave. You can buy them without the shell where they've already been shelled, but my kids love to shell these themselves. So you just heat them up in the microwave and steam them and then pop them out of their shell, or you can do them the other way and just do it without the shell. So I saved some for my kids because I know they're gonna wanna pop those out of the shell. And then I made my own matchstick carrots. Basically, I took some baby carrots that my kids like to eat and I cut them into quarters and then I just kept slicing them down further and further. And then what my favorite thing is, these teeny tiny little cucumbers, which are called cocktail cucumbers, which you know what that means. I get to have a cocktail with this salad, my favorite. Basically, since they're so tiny, I just sliced them in half and then I cut them in really small little divided sections. So they're basically chopped. If you're using a bigger cucumber, I would probably cut it into quarters and then slice it. And then I've got some organic cherry tomatoes and they are just sliced in half. I've got some green onion, the long green onions. I do like the green part and the white part, so I just um, chop those up real thin, and um, if you don't like green onions, you can always use like a red onion or any kind of onion that you like. And then just for some color, I chopped up a few mini bell peppers. They're just sweeter, they're good. I like to eat them anyways. And so I'm gonna add some to our salad just for some flavor. And then we've got our sugar snap peas, which I just microwave these in the oven. Uh, um, I microwave them for two minutes so that they wouldn't be too soggy, but they're gonna still have a little bit of crunch to them. And then lastly, we're gonna top it off with some chopped cilantro, my favorite. I love cilantro so much. It goes really well with our lime vinaigrette dressing. So we are gonna start adding this all together. All right, so to get started on dressing our salad, I'm gonna start with our soybeans, which come from the edamame shells. 
and I'm just gonna sprinkle them out. I do realize that we've got a lot of green in our salad, so that's why I added those co uh, pops of colors to make it a little bit more interesting looking. And this salad is gonna be for both Jared and I, so that's why it's so giant. And we're just gonna lay it all on top so it looks pretty. And then before we eat it, I will toss the salad, so. Those don't really show up without any color. So that's why we're gonna add in a few carrots. These are little matchstick carrots that I made at home by myself. If you don't want to make them, they sell them in a little baggie. They're called matchstick carrots and you can find them right by the other carrots. So see how this is pretty? It adds that orange pop of color on top of the green. Here comes my cocktail cucumbers. So we're gonna just, I love cucumbers, so. And if you don't like some of this stuff, you can always omit something that you don't like or substitute something. So again, we're just adding more and more greenery to this salad. These are fun for my kids to eat because they're tiny, so they like to eat tiny stuff. Here comes our cherry tomatoes. Add a little bit of red color in. See, it's starting to look more festive now. Oops, that one jumped ship. Okay, this is looking prettier. And this is just so delicious. Like with the lime vinaigrette on here, it just adds so much flavor and it just goes really well with that orange chicken. So we got a lot of citrus flavors in this salad. Now for our green onion, use as little or as much as you like. I did four green onions is what I chopped up. So, and I like the whites and the greens of the green onion. So if you don't like a certain part of the green onion, like I said, leave it out. But I'm just keep adding more green. Maybe I should have called this the, the mean green salad. Now I'm gonna do our sugar snap peas. You can kind of just place them around. My kids are gonna probably like to eat these. You don't have to cook these. You don't have to steam them. They can be eaten fresh too. But I just lightly steamed mine so they're not so crunchy, but um, they've got just a little give to them. That's probably enough of that. And here comes our mini bell peppers that are sliced. And I just, again, I added these just for some color because it is a very green salad, but it's delicious. And also once we add the chicken in, that's gonna give us a little bit more color as well, so. It's so pretty, so summery, so fresh. Okay. And then I'm gonna top it with cilantro. I love cilantro. And it just gives it kind of a unique flavoring, you know, in a lot of Thai food they use cilantro. So it adds that little quality to it as well. I just love cilantro. Okay, now it's drink time. Okay, seriously, are these not the cutest beers you've ever seen in your life? Tommy Girl picked these out for me today when we were at Trader Joe's. She's so into like rainbows and unicorns and she's like, I want that, I want that. And I was like, I want that, I want that. And unfortunately it has alcohol in it so she can't have any but mommy can. So this is what I'm gonna be reviewing today. This is St. Arnold award-winning summer pills, which it says it is crisp and refreshing. I mean, I just love the packaging. Like I said last time, I am a sucker for packaging. It's just adorable, so I can't wait to crack one of these bad boys open. Don't you just love a child who encourages your drinking? I'm all for it. I mean, if she wants me to do it, I'm gonna do what makes her happy. So, oh, let me try it. Mmm, I like it. 
Jared's gonna love these. I better drink them all before he sees them because he's a total like craft beer person and once he gets his hands on these, they'll be all gone. So, that's a good beer. That's a good beer. You gotta try it too. Pick some up at Trader Joe's and I've also, I think I saw them at H-E-B too, but I'm not positive, but I know they for sure carry that brand there. So pick some up at your local grocery store because they're pretty delicious. All right, so our chicken is done in the oven. You can see it's more of a golden brown color. So now, as you can see on the bottom of my bowl here, I've added one of the sauce packets to the bottom and basically then I just get the chicken off of here, throw it in the bowl, and then I cover it with another one of the sauce packets. So um, be careful, the chicken is hot. So I just go ahead and scoop it off of my cooking tray. This is fresh out of the oven. And then we are going to toss it just a little bit before throwing it into our salad because if we do it when it's a little too hot, that one does not want to come off, or that one. Sometimes they're a little bit stubborn, so you got to manhandle them. Who doesn't love to manhandle the chicken? And they're coming off easier now. Wow, it can be very hot. Make sure you don't touch your hot baking tray with your bare hand. So here I go, there's all my chicken. I'm gonna cut open my second sauce packet. Whoa, that would be bad if I spilt that everywhere. And then I just drizzle it all over because I'm gonna stir it up anyway. So just wanna make sure you get all the sauce out of that one so it's nice and juicy. So then I just go like this and I toss it a little bit in the bowl with the sauce. Make sure all of this is getting covered with sauce and then we'll let it cool for just a few minutes and then we'll throw it on our salad. So I'm gonna save a little bit for my kids. They're probably gonna end up having a little bit of this chicken on a plate with some of those sugar snap peas, probably some soybeans and um, they like tomatoes. So probably some tomatoes if you want. Uh, Trader Joe's also has delicious microwavable rice. I love their brown rice, they have jasmine rice. So. If that's something easy you wanted to do for your kids, like if you wanted to do rice and chicken for their dinner, that would be easy because it's only three minutes in the microwave and it's really good. So anyways, I'm gonna let this chicken cool down and then we will put it on our salad. Our chicken is now cool enough, I think, that we can go ahead and put it on our salad. So I'm just going to disperse them evenly throughout the salad. And it's gonna look so pretty and delicious just like my beer. Tommy came up to me and she was all concerned. She wanted to know whether I liked it or not. And then Henny said, I want one. And I'm like, I'm sorry kids, this is just for mama. So I'm just gonna put all this chicken on top. Um, and the sauce is good too because it adds a little bit of flavor to the actual salad as well. All right, so now we need to pretty much used all the chicken by now. Now we've got to make our lime vinaigrette. So let's get started on that. So for our dressing, for our lime vinaigrette, we're going to use olive oil, the juice of fresh limes, and then our secret ingredient, a packet of Splenda. So I'm not positive how much lime juice I'm gonna use yet, so I'm gonna show you what I do when I do it. So I'm gonna do about a half cup olive oil. Like I said, I don't measure, so I'm just eyeballing it, and then I'm just gonna cut my lime in half. You guys don't know how like far I went in life without having one of these lime juicers. I mean, I don't know how I made it through life for so long without even knowing these existed. You just squeeze it down and it just gets all the lime juice out. 
One time I made a whole entire pitcher of um, margaritas on the rocks with fresh lime juice and I literally squeezed all the limes by hands, by my hands, and I was like dying. I'm pretty sure I had like carpal tunnel by the end of it, needed to wear like a wrist brace or something. So I'm gonna start off, whoa, that was like a geyser. So, ah, it's doing it again. So basically, I'm probably gonna just start with this one lime because these limes are pretty big. If your limes are a little bit smaller, you probably wanna do about two. So, because these are pretty big in size to me. So I'm gonna dump that into the olive oil mixture. And then the good thing about this Splenda is that it adds a little touch of sweetness, but it's not really, really sweet and it cuts some of that sour tang. So um, that helps with that too. So we're gonna stir that. Mmm, yum. Let me smell it. Mmm. And I think that should be good to go on that. Okay, after tasting it, I have decided that I need to add about a fourth teaspoon of fresh diced garlic. And then I am going to also add in some fresh ground black pepper, because I just love to add black pepper to everything, I think. So maybe do about a fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper as well. You know me, I love my pepper. So, and if it was just me, I'd probably even add in some garlic chili paste, which I will get out of the refrigerator and show you in a minute. If you wanted to add a little bit of kick to your dressing, much better. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I could drink that. That is good. So I will get the chili paste out and I'll show you what that looks like if you wanna kick, add a little kick to your this dressing. This is the chili garlic sauce that I love. You can find it in the um, international food section at the grocery store. So be careful, it goes a long way. I love it, but it is a very spicy. Also, it just gives it a nice garlic flavor as well. If you don't want it that spicy, you could also just add some crushed red pepper to your dressing or you don't have to add anything at all so these are all the different options you can do but this is good we're gonna go ahead and pour it on our salad let me give it one last whisk and then we can just drizzle it hold on buddy i'm coming and then we'll just keep drizzling it so it's getting evenly dispersed on our salad. And then we will toss the salad and mix it all together before we eat it. But isn't that just the prettiest little salad? Now I know it doesn't have any cheese because you know how I love my cheese, but I just don't think there's a lot of cheese meals in Asia. But I mean, I could be wrong. If someone wants to point that out, please enlighten me. I never said I know it all, even though sometimes I act like a know it all. So, this is just so good. And, and to top it off, I'm going to do a little sprinkling of cilantro. Thank you, Henny. Are you excited to eat this salad? Yummy! Okay, doesn't that look beautiful? There it is. All done. All right, so here's a close-up of the salad. Doesn't it look beautiful? I cannot wait to eat dinner. All right, guys, so if you thought this video was helpful and you plan on making this recipe, please like and subscribe. Please have a drink for me this weekend. Happy Friday. Try this out, it's the cutest drink in the world and it also tastes good. 
All right, leave me any questions in the comments section. I'll try and get back to you. Bye.